What's up everyone, Emma from Mueller's to our first ever tier list here, we're gonna do Indigo Park. First off, our boy, Rambly the Raccoon. Throughout the whole game, he's our tour guide and we're helping him redeem his park and stuff while we're getting attacked by this motherfucker right here. He's cute, he's lovable, and I think he's amazing. And honestly, I vibed with him most of the time throughout the gameplay. So how about, we're gonna throw him so far on S tier. He could probably move up or down depending on and future wise for how he is in the chapter but right now i really liked him i thought he was gonna be like some type of evil person in the beginning but he stuck with us at the end and he gave off a different spin he didn't just ignore about what's happening in the park he acknowledged it at the end and he was just trying to keep a happy appearance so we weren't scared he was trying to keep us calm by being joyful and stuff so i respect that he's our boy he's looking out for us he's the best we're gonna do molly the macaw i don't know if she's gonna show up in like future chapters because she's dead she might come back in future chapters for talking about her backstory i don't think that she's gonna come back at all maybe as a spear or something but she's like dead like she can't be there but she might be involved in a different ways but the fact that she was stalking us i don't like that because i really don't like stalkers the chase was fun the chase was pretty fun even though near the end it felt like a parody of huggy wuggy chasing in poppy playtime chapter one i think that she's doing pretty fine i'll put her at B. She can have room for improvement for more storytelling, more backstory to her. Lloyd the Lion. He looks pretty fun. His introduction was actually kind of either egotistical or arrogant or both. I'm with Rambly here that I don't, I don't like how he was brought up. It fit him very well, but I just don't like it because he was boasting about him, so he just felt annoying. He felt like, in your face, an annoying type. Other than the introduction, I think it was pretty fun. Like, the whole thing in the backstage was cool. So far, I think he has potential. He has an interesting characteristic, whether or not I like how his introduction, but he has potential. He has real potential. We're gonna put him at B as well. I don't think A is right for right now, so we're gonna have him at B, just like Molly McCaw. Room for improvement, but right now, I don't care for the character. We're gonna go for Finley, the dragon. After the introduction, where you question his sexuality, I don't know anything about him, actually. They didn't put any focus on him at all. Just after you fully ran away from Molly Makai, you saw him in the fish tank or something, so I'm pretty much gonna assume he's like a sea serpent. I think this is gonna be pretty sick, whether we face him off in a battle or not. I feel like this is gonna be pretty interesting to see him in the future chapters, and I'm honestly looking forward to seeing this guy more. So we're gonna have him at A. I like his personality he's gonna be very interesting i like him so far salem the skunk now here's something we didn't get any introduction of her at all but that's probably because during our ride in the beginning we always saw a cover cut out of her just a piece of it not even a full thing it was broken off so i feel like something wrong happened to her either she was caught in a fight or she was going crazy which comes into the theory i thought up of during the indigo park live stream i think what she did was brainwash molly mccaw with like a brainwashing potion or maybe give her something to activate her fighting instincts and stuff. I feel like there's going to be some interesting lore. Just like her or not, whether she's going crazy or maybe something happened. I feel like there's going to be some interesting things about her. I'm going to put her at A. Due to the limited knowledge we know from the beginning of her copper cutout. And the limited knowledge we have with her during the mini game. You can find the little mini game you can play in her cafeteria place. I think there's going to be some interesting lore behind behind it i'm very much interested on where they're going to take her story to make sure to take your nearest rambly the raccoon and make him smack that like button for you other than that i see all you guys and my familiars in the next tier list much love to you guys i'll touch you guys later ttyl